Seattle Sounders 3, St. Louis City nil. Hayden, what was your thoughts on tonight's match? Uh, first half, a little rough. They were definitely pressing us real hard. They were giving us a sure run for our money, especially keeping us because we were going in, what, now, now in the half. So they were definitely there. Like, I could see why other teams can follow to them. Yamark clamped down pretty good on Klaus. That's where he needed to be for sure tonight. Because Klaus has been bagging goals, stealing off defenders. Yeah, and he, he looks good. Like, he's a great player for St. Louis. You know, good on them. He's a great pickup. But we definitely clamped down on him. I think if Reagan would have been on him more, probably not. Probably would have seen maybe a goal out of Klaus. He definitely got one real close on us. But it was, it was nice to see Yamark do his job. Second half? Second half was great. I think Must just went in there. Brian had the game plan ready to go. Said, boys, we got to keep, we got to counter hard. And I think we countered right where we needed to be. I know that goal from Josh Atencio tonight. Josh Atencio, absolute banger. Can't say it. Maybe he's stepping up. Josh Bangers Atencio is stepping in for Jimmy Madranda, maybe. <laughs> it's quite interesting because it went from like Danny Leva being the star boy in the midfield, then it was Obed Vargas last season, and now this season it's Josh Atencio. I mean, give him his minutes. If he's doing good in there, let him be. Does he keep starting for you now, Josh Atencio, after tonight? He has to. I think you got to. Like, we're, we're leaving Rui Diaz on the bench, and he's coming in, putting goals in. It was not the prettiest goal for Rui Diaz, but a goal's a goal. That, that, but the thing is, that's what he kind of needs to jumpstart a season. That's his first goal. Yeah, for sure. But uh... Man of the match tonight? I think you gotta give it to Josh Atencio. He looked good in the midfield. He was he was tearing it up. He he also, he also had some great runs down the, the wing. He was looking really good. He looked confident out there. So I want to quote you from your first. You were here for the first game of the season, I believe, or second. It was either Salt Lake or Rapids. You said I want to see this team four or five weeks or six weeks into the season. We are now that five six weekish mark. We're top of the West. What are your thoughts been so far? I, I just want to see it continue. I think what we've shown is we can really power through the injuries as well. Guys have been stepping up. I think we're, we're looking the same how we started off last season, but guys are stepping up where they need to be. So like guys like Josh Atencio, Obed Vargas, those are the guys that need to step up and get those minutes for us and show that we got a full team, not just our main stars. Not a team of individuals. Correct, yeah. Don't want to look like Chelsea or anything. <laughs> Top of the Western Conference, we play Portland next week. What is your final message going into the, being at top, going to Portland. We've seen us be kind of that favorite team. We're in form in Portland, not That's be in form, and then they just somehow beat us. So now what is it What is it going to mean going into this upcoming game? I think we just got to come out real early. You got to score an early goal. It's got to be Jordan Morris getting up there 30 minutes, 20 minutes in. He's got to put one in there for us because I don't know if, if, we, if we can't get it early, I don't know. The Portland longer it stays 0-0, zero, zero, it goes into Portland's hands because yeah. they like playing that counterattack and going for the goal. For sure. Yeah. Definitely nervous going into Portland. It's always nervous going against your rival, but I think they could go in and take it this year.